guys, it's Adrian. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to bring you another 3-in-1 video. In case you've missed any of my other 3-in-1 videos, this is part of a Goodreads group called Booktubers from Around the World, hosted by Cherry Walker, that has a whole bunch of different stuff within it, but one of the things that they do is a monthly favorites 3-in-1 video. I'll leave all the links to the Goodreads group and to Cherry's channel, as well as any of my other 3-in-1 videos, so you can go check those out if you're interested. This month, from April 7th to April 23rd, is Tome Topple, which is a readathon that focuses on really big books. I was planning on taking part in Tome Topple, but my life in the last two or three weeks has gotten insanely busy and I just can't commit to a book or two that are above 500 pages. But in honor of Tome Topple, this month's topic is recommendations of books that are 500 plus pages. I thought, oh, this will be easy. I went through my shelves, no, that's not 500 pages, no, that's not 500 pages, and neither is that one. Which is my biggest problem. I never really commit to big long books because they take so much time. So, a lot of these books you have seen several times on my channel already, and I am sorry, but I am happy because it's really convinced me that I need to start committing to longer books because there are so many great books out there that I am just putting off because I don't want to have to spend weeks on end reading a book. That being said, the first recommendation that I have is a book that I have not yet finished. I have been working on this book for about two and a half weeks now. It is a fantastic book. This says nothing about the book itself. But I, like I said, I've been having a really busy week and usually I read at nighttime. Lately though, I've been sitting on my couch and reading about 15 pages and not remembering anything that I read because I'm so tired. So it's been a slow progress. I do, however, really like this book. And the book that I'm talking about is Miss Born the Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. I have been wanting to read a Brandon Sanderson book for so long because I have heard so many fantastic things about his world building. And man, oh man, can I tell you that his world building is so good. His writing style is fantastic. What I love about this book particularly is, I have to admit, it is a little bit slow because there's a lot of information. And it's not info dumpy, it's not like pages and pages and pages of explaining how a magic system works, what a world looks like. Things are actually happening, but while those things are happening through conversations or through events that happen, you're learning about this world. And that's really interesting to me because I feel like it's going to set up for some craziness in the second book because at this moment I am 525 pages in and I have about 110 pages left, something like that, and things are really starting to pick up and I feel like the next book is just going to fly. So I'm so excited to read the next book. So if you like high fantasy, if you like great magic systems and phenomenal world buildings, I recommend you pick up this book. The next one should be no surprise to you and that would be Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I feel like this book kind of has a little bit of something for everybody and they're all like a thousand plus pages except for the first one. The first one's like 600, 800 and something but they just keep getting longer and longer. I will say though that the first three books are really really great. The fourth book and the fifth book that I have just finished are also good but by that time it becomes almost like a soap opera because these people just never get a break and you follow their everyday lives and I feel like if you're invested in the series, by the time you get to book four and book five, it doesn't really matter anymore because you really love the characters. I am, however, in the middle of book six and things have started to really pick up again. So I have high hopes that the series will get better as it goes, but I especially recommend the first, second, and the third book. And for my third recommendation, I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I feel like I need to, because I have, a hard time deciding. On one hand, if it was just for me, I would pick my third book to be A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. The reason that I love this book so much is not because of the romance, though the romance was very interesting. It was the world building. I really loved the Night Court, and if I could live there, I would, in the good part of the Night Court, not in the scary part of the Night Court. But A Court of Mist and Fury is not for everybody because it is really heavy on the romance in this book, and it's kind of sexy, the same thing with Outlander, so it's not necessarily for everybody, and I didn't want to recommend two sexy books. So I'm gonna go with Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo, 
This is the second book in the Six of Crows duology and I feel like this is more widely acceptable. <laughs> People who don't like sexy time books will still like this book. What I love about this book is again the world building but especially the characters. I love the characters. I'm so invested in the characters and the plot of this book just flew. There was one thing happening after another after another. Again, it's these characters, they never get a break. I think that's kind of what I like in books. I'm discovering as I'm filming this video. These characters never get a break. They, you, you think they solve one problem and another problem starts. And so the plot just keeps going and going and going. This book is my favorite book out of the duology. So if you have not read Six of Crows yet, go read it so you can read Cookie Kingdom. All right guys, that wraps it up for this month's three in one video. Like I said before, go check out the group in the um, description box because they have a lot of really great things for booktubers of all kinds of sizes from the itty bitty bitty channels like mine to the really big ones. I think that there's something to be able to be found in there for everybody. It's one of my favorite Goodreads groups. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday and Saturday. So if you want to see more videos from my lovely face, not that it's that lovely, but if you want to see more videos from my lovely face, you can hit subscribe and you'll see me twice a week because I'm awesome. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time. Bye.